Hello everyone, my name is Tim Minghui, my toy number H188082. Today I will show you a traditional food, Hakka tea rice. Hakka tea rice, also known as Lei Cha. The word Lei means the action of grinding. The word Cha means tea. Regarding the stories of origin of Lei Cha in the Three Kingdom, in a war between Liu Bei and Cao Cao, many of Liu Bei army men were ill from a pandemic. A traditional physician prescribed rice with a combination of herbs to feed the troops. After drinking Lei Cha from the rocker, they got better and went on to win the battle. Aka tea rice is a traditional rice dish accompanied by several sides of vegetable and toppings. The Hakkas are frugal people, they would directly use vegetables grow around their house. So the ingredients of this dish is different according to the different regions. Some people will have 5 to 10 type of vegetable dish such as green bean, green bean, kale, sweet leaf, paper mint, basil, soy some bok choy, mustard green, toppings like roasted peanut, tofu, preserved radish, and others. The highlight of Hakka tea rice is the tea soup. The tea paste is made by pounding all the ingredients in a huge mortar and paste. The dish is usually served with some rice in a bowl, together with all the different sides of vegetable topping, and then drench with the tea soup. Here are my mother Hakka tea rice recipe. Here are the ingredients: sweet leaf, choy sum, long bean, roasted peanut, preserved radish, dry slim, garlic, and tofu. Let's begin with cooked rice. Put the suitable ratio of water, press the on button, and the cooker will handle the cooking time. Next, clean all the vegetables before start cooking. Later that, ready a cutting board and cut the ingredients. After all of the ingredients are ready, start cooking the topping. Heat up about 1 spoon of oil in wok. Lightly fry the tofu cup until they are golden brown. Same way for fried peanuts. Slowly push the peanuts around to heat them evenly and prevent burning. Same way for cooking preserved radish. After finish cooking the topping, let's start to cook the vegetable. Heat 1 spoon of oil in wok. Add some garlic, dry slim, and sweet leaf, and stay at fry until soft. Same way for long bean and choy sum. Last is prepare the soup. First, put the peanuts into mortar and dry until fine. Next, put some dry slim and continue fry until fine. Lastly, put the sweet leaf and dry again until become paste. Lastly, mix the paste with boiling water and the soup is ready to serve. Ocean rice in the middle of plate. Arrange all the veggies and toppings around the rice. Just before serving, pull the soup over the rice and serve immediately. Healthy eating never tastes so good. There are side sweetness and savouriness in this dish coming from veggies, topping and the tea soup. It's definitely an acquired taste. It also has many benefits to the body health. It is effective against cold, cough and some common sickness. This dish is a historical, cultural artifact. That is why we must try it.